In recent weeks, two people have died locally in separate incidents involving low-speed vehicles. With summer here, we're not just seeing more of these carts on the streets, but also more traffic and danger on the roadways. As News 13's Kelly Grossfield tells us tonight, there are rules to driving these rentals. You probably see these low speed vehicles all over the streets of Panama City Beach, but where can you drive them and where can't you drive them? They look like a golf cart, but they're not the same. Low speed vehicles are street legal, but there are requirements you must follow. A low speed vehicle has to have a windshield, a windshield wiper, brake lights, turn signals, and it also has to have a vehicle tag, just like a vehicle in the state of Florida. It has to have a VIN number. We're seeing more of these vehicles in areas they're not allowed. Beach Police Chief Drew Whitman says low speed vehicles can only legally operate on roads that have a speed limit of 35 miles per hour or less. And you can't travel in these vehicles on Back Beach Road. Because you got vehicles doing 45 to 60 miles an hour on Back Beach Road, and you got a golf cart doing 20, you just approach them too fast and it's dangerous. They can't get out of the way. Colleen Swab runs a rental company and says she gives out her own set of rules of where you can and cannot go and what you can and cannot do. You got to make sure that your customer is safe. You got to tell them the rules. You got to make sure they understand. For 35 years, they've made sure their vehicles are safe and encourage customers to drive them safely. You can't drive them on the sidewalks. You can't drive them down the shoulder of the road. If you go by the rules, they're a lot of fun. In Panama City Beach, Kelly Grossfield, News 13, Panhandle Strong.